Ooh, no, no, no. I did not realize that you were still wet. I don't know why you be collecting water. I don't know who told you to do that. <laughs> I don't know who gave you that advice. Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. About a month ago, I silk pressed my hair and for a while it was beautiful and flowing, but it is time to wash my hair. There's so much product in my hair and it's so itchy right now, so it definitely needs to come out. I loaded my hair with so much heat protectant, hair oil, and dry shampoo, and I am hoping and praying that I did not heat damage my hair. So today, let's go ahead and uh, transition my hair back to curly, as well as try this new line from Dr. Vanessa Ratson. She sent me this beautiful line of hair care products that are suitable for type 4 hair, so we're gonna be trying them out together. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel, I post a lot of skincare, hair, makeup, lifestyle-related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on my other socials, it's always It's Lakeisha, and without further ado, Let's get started. So yes, I did still press my hair about a month ago, but since then, I've been exercising. I exercise a lot, actually, like at least three or four times a week. So that's a lot, like for me, more than I've ever exercised pretty much in my entire life since high school. You know, yay for that. But it has definitely allowed me to sweat a lot more. I had a bath yesterday. My hair is starting to revert. The ends are still pretty straight, but like my roots are getting really curly, which I'm very excited about the back because I was so scared that it wasn't gonna revert. I have a spray bottle with some water. You guys have seen this in countless of my videos. This actually has some aloe vera water in there as well. And then I have my trusty, dusty, really dirty uh, detangling brush. <laughs> gonna split my hair into four sections and I always wear gloves when detangling my hair just so I don't snag my nails in my hair and rip out some strands unnecessarily because we can use all the strands that we can get. Nothing's really happening. My hair back here is a lot straighter than the rest of my hair naturally. So, you know, let's give her some grace. Let's apply some of this treatment and um, pray. Maybe when we let it sit, it will look better. Okay, well, the I mean, the end is curling, so that's cute. Yeah, you can see, like, this is so straight, like, that low porosity here is just rejecting the water. It's just dripping. Oh, I do not like that. Okay, as I looked away, it just kind of, oh my god, it's curling! Oh my god, yay! I'm getting a little scared there. Oh yes, my hair is coming back. Oh my God, curls, I missed you. I missed you so much. Mommy loves you. They're not as uniform as they were before, but they are not gone. Oh, I know you see that shrinkage. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a plastic cap on my hair with a microwavable hot pack, just so that the warmth can really be distributed in my hair and keep it nice and hydrated. And then I'll jump in the shower and try out this Dr. B hair care line. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my God, yes. Because I'm already detangled, I'm actually just gonna shampoo my hair. It is like bouncing right back. The shrinkage. All right, so here we are in the shower. I'm just rinsing out the mask from my hair thoroughly. The first thing we're gonna start with is our thickening shampoo. Now, this one has a really nice jelly texture. It has a pearlescent finish and it has a very creamy, jelly, and sticky texture, which means it is filled with hydration. I used about two pumps in the palm of my hands and spread that all over my scalp. Using my fingers, I just massage this all around my scalp. Now, obviously I have gloves on, so I can't really feel the texture of my hair, but it didn't really suds up as much as I thought it was gonna suds up. I ended up using a shampoo brush to really get up my scalp because I felt like I wasn't really doing very much. I don't know why I kept my hair in twists because I never shampoo my hair in twists, but I eventually loosed it out and rinsed out the shampoo. I took off the gloves because I wanted to feel the texture of my hair. So I put another pump in my hands and went in for round two of shampooing. And I was pleasantly surprised by how much suds came out of this product. It actually felt really nice. Not squeaky clean, it just felt clean. Shampoo is really supposed to be on your scalp, not necessarily on the strands of your hair. I did have a lot of product in my hair, so I really wanted to get at that. But after this first time that I shampooed, I ended up using a dropper bottle with 
two pumps of shampoo and just filled up with some warm water just to make sure the shampoo got to my scalp instead. After doing my entire head, I was rinsing my hair out and it did feel pretty soft. It wasn't the softest thing in the world. And as you can see, my hair was a lot more saturated than it was before with water. So it was now time to use our conditioner. We're using the cuticle repair conditioner, which my hair was needing because obviously it was like really dry, not very healthy. This had a really nice creamy buttery texture. I was super excited to get this into my hair. So here I am putting it into my hair and I was a little bit underwhelmed, unfortunately, with how much slip the product had. I just expected something a little bit more. My hair was already parted into four sections and I split each quad into two. I went in with my Pattern Beauty detangling brush, which I usually have no problem detangling my hair with, but I had a little bit of struggle, as you can see. Like it's really taking some time to get through my hair. And this is why I didn't feel like it had that much slip because I usually do this and it's quite easy. But I left that in and did my whole body routine. My hair did look really juicy though. As you can see, like it was shrinking very nicely. My ringlets were still a little bit large, but I think that has more to do with the twist that I just put it in. But yeah, it felt really nice. It felt really bouncy, very light and very moisturized as well. So here we're rinsing out the conditioner. My hair felt really soft. It actually did. It wasn't as soft as like some of the other lower end products that I've tried before. So I was a little bit underwhelmed to be honest. Going in with the Protect and Shield conditioner, this is the leave-in conditioner. Once again, a very nice creamy texture. It's really lightweight as well. I just put this on the ends of my hair, focusing on the, like, the actual ends instead of my roots and use the praying hands method to spread it through my hair. I then twisted them back into four sections, finished the rest of my body routine, and then stepped out of the shower. I've decided that I'm going to do Bantu knots again. It's like my typical hairstyle, so it only makes sense if I do what I normally do with my hair. I was watching the video that Dr. V posted regarding the hair products, and she outlined a hair routine that you're supposed to be using for your hair. Now, she did mention that you're supposed to just use the strengthening oil with the leave-in conditioner and then wrap your hair with a microfiber towel. I don't know about you, but my hair requires a little bit more than an oil to make it you know all good and dandy I need something a little bit more so I don't really know how that's gonna work but we're gonna try we're gonna try her routine and see how it goes oh my god my hair is so much thicker than it normally is I don't imagine this would be from one wash we're gonna start by putting a little bit of this oil she said one to two pumps for your whole head um, I'm gonna do <laughs> one pump per section. So here's, okay, two pumps per section because that, that's not a lot. So let's put that on, like that legitimately disappeared. <laughs> okay, um, praying hands method. She says it's the heat that's supposed to allow it to lock in. So I'm just gonna twist it back up. So next section, two pumps of oil, one, two. Now that doesn't make sense because if I'm putting my hair in Bantu knots, it can't be damp, it has to be wet. Okay, so maybe I'll just leave, you know, leave the oil in, but not do the microfiber towel. Maybe if I was blow drying my hair, I would do that. Um, Cause otherwise Bantu knots are not gonna hold in my hair. Maybe what I'll do is after I put in the Bantu knots, then I'll put in the microfiber towel. Okay. Okay, well, the oil is definitely mixing with the leave-in conditioner quite well, and you can see like it's leaving this really beautiful emulsion on my hair, so that's nice. What I will say is my hair isn't super, super soft. Like, I've had my hair be extremely 
um, buttery smooth. This is not leaving my hair buttery smooth, but it's also not leaving my hair dry or stripped or anything like that. It's just kind of like in the mid range. I am going to be using the Antigen Boost Hair Tonic for thinning and brittle hair because I've talked about this many times before right here by my temples is starting to thin just a little bit. So we're gonna spray this right here and kind of massage it in. Spray here and massage it in. Like honestly, the African-American urge to put butter in your hair. Oh my God, it just feels so thin. I'm really nervous about how this is gonna turn out, but I'm gonna stop complaining. Okay, just wrapping that little band too. My hair looks a little frizzy, but I think that has more to do with, once again, the fact that I just did a silk press on it versus this product. What I will say is like, it does feel very lightweight, it's very like there's no weight on this whatsoever and it does look really good like it's shiny it is shiny so I just finished all of my hair I'm gonna put on this microfiber towel to hopefully dry it this I'm gonna leave it on for about 15 minutes or so then I'll go to bed I just stepped out of the shower and just washed my hair. I have in the leave-in conditioner and I'm putting in the strand strengthening oil. So what I can say since the first time that I've used this is that my hair feels just so soft. Usually I would have to deep condition in order for my hair to be like this. Now I did trim my hair because I recently did a silk press. So it is, you know, not really gonna be that much longer, at least in this curly state. But do you see how much thicker my hair looks? Like it just looks so soft and healthy. And I noticed that without using a lot of heavy products, my hair feels good. My hair doesn't need thick butters and thick anything. It just needs to be washed. In terms of shedding, I have my shedding from the shower here. This is about normal for me. I wouldn't say anything more or anything less than what I normally get. So I don't know about that too much, but I am seeing that there's a lot of new growth. Like that's a lot of new growth, a lot. So much new hair. For my hairline, I have been using the uh, tonic, antigen boost hair tonic for my thinning edges. I haven't seen anything crazy with this, unfortunately. I'm not seeing, you know, any hair more than it was before so i don't know it's not done so i'm gonna continue using it i also started detangling in the shower now instead of before and i use the conditioner to do so it actually does have enough slip if your hair is healthy if your hair is not healthy you're gonna need like a lot a lot of product but the healthier your hair is the less product you're ever going to use so that's pretty cool One thing that is extremely important to keep in mind is the fact that my befores were right after my hair was straightened. And my afters, of course, is three months later after I've not blow dried my hair at all. So my ringlets are a lot tighter than they were before. Now, with that being said, before I straightened my hair, my ringlets were already looser. So straightening it made my curls even looser than they were then, if that makes sense. I hope I'm saying that properly. But the three months after, so now where my hair is currently, it honestly really does feel so much healthier and I don't use as much product as I did before. I have some videos before on like when I had like really dry scalp and it would flake and stuff like that. I don't get any of that at this point without any effort whatsoever. So the shampoo really, really does help to hydrate your scalp. In terms of the conditioner, initially when I tried it, I didn't think it was enough, but I learned recently that when you use products like Shea Moisture, for example, that is really getting dragged <laughs> currently. Um, it does tend to dry out your hair and your hair doesn't feel good if you're not using Shea Moisture, do you know what I mean? But hair is not supposed to do that. So I really do think that using products like this really helps to strengthen your hair and allow it to survive on its own without needing to use these other hair butters and creams as a crutch. If you don't get anything else from this line, what I definitely would recommend is getting the shampoo and conditioner just because of the sheer fact that you use it constantly 
constantly. Like this is, these are the two products that you're going to use every single time you wash your hair. Like regardless of anything else, this is like a must in my opinion. Uh, quality shampoo and conditioner is really going to take your hair a long way. So these are the two that I would 100% recommend. I really do like this leave-in conditioner a lot as well. It just made my hair feel so healthy and nourished without weighing my hair down or anything like that. However, I have had, I have tried different leave-in conditioners before that I really do enjoy. For example, the spray leave-in one from Way, as well as the one from Main's Choice. And I kind of put these in the same category. There's nothing about this that makes it better than the others. So just any of those three, you'll be good to go, right? But I do, I do like this a lot. I do actually recommend trying this line if you're looking for something to really improve the quality of your hair, not just make it look shiny, but actually let it be shiny. So that is the end of the video. Thank you so much, Dr. V, for sending me these products. I thank you, my hair thanks you. And if you guys have tried this Dr. V hair care line, or you have other recommendations for high-end hair care or high quality hair care i would love to hear your thoughts click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always stay gorgeous stay fabulous and i'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video bye <laughs>